The new album is called My Name is Joe. This is my name, this is who I am, and the songs that you love, it's me. A lot of people don't know who I am. The artist, the producer, the songwriter, the arranger, the composer, the whole nine yards, you know? That's what Joe is, that's who Joe is. I had to, you know, get rid of my management duties because I was about to take over Motown, and they asked me to get rid of any artist that I managed. And I told them, I didn't mind that, but I literally would have turned down the Motown deal if I couldn't keep this particular artist. I like producing because then you have a chance to get outside of the artist thing because you got to do a lot to be an artist, especially solo. I think producing and writing definitely takes you away from a lot of the limelight. You can really focus on yourself. It's behind the scenes. I like that a lot. And writing allows you to be behind the scenes as, as opposed to being up front all the time, which is kind of cool. Don't stop, get it, get it. I tell you what I like. When I'm in the studio and I'm recording, and when I finish my work, because a lot of times um, artists tend to put a lot of themselves in an album, and when someone buys that record or someone calls into the radio station and say, can you play that Joe song again? I love that song. I think that's what I really love the most about being an artist is when I can get that response and those accolades and that, that pat on the back, like, yeah, you did a good job. The whole album is basically, um, it's about different lifestyles. Like a song I have is called All Eternal, which talks about being in a relationship where my girl is listening to everyone else. Sort of like the song that Chico and I have for his album, Listen to Your Man. Basically, this song is like, you know, no matter what they say about the situation, we're going to always be together. Our love is all eternal. One song I have called One Life Stand, not One Night Stand, but One Life Stand, uh, which basically say, you know, if, I'm, if I get with you tonight, it's not just a one night stand. It's going to be forever. It's just really a diverse kind of album. I have a song called Stutter which is, you know, I'm stuttering on the record, you know, it's like, you know, and it, the basically, the song is about uh, my shorty, um, I can tell she's lying because the way she's responding and she's stuttering. And it's like, you know, that's no good. And the whole song is real ill, 563. And I'm sure a lot of people are gonna wonder what this 563 means. And it means simply Joe. I mean, that is my, that, that is, that's my letters on the phone, crunk. Get it crunk means to get hype, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to get nice. Uh, nothing crazy, nothing negative, very positive in a positive way, sort of risque. You know, I want to get nice, I want to feel good, I want to, you know, have a good time. I think anyone in the industry wants to be respected like Stevie Wonder, uh, Marvin Gaye, uh, Aretha Franklin. We all want to be admired and looked at like the Beatles or you know, Mariah Carey, you know, those huge superstars. Mariah Carey is, has been a very, very big influence on my um, success. Radio has a lot of love for me. Um, if, I, I feel if it hadn't been for radio, that I probably wouldn't be, wouldn't have a, a, the notoriety of my voice. My voice wouldn't be a, as distinct as a lot of other artists. So radio has definitely get, shown me a lot of love. But Mariah has, has been a big influence on getting me out there. I never imagined uh, in, in my wildest dreams to have been on a record with someone of her status. Babyface, Tina Turner, Barry White, Escape, Ideal, uh, Changing Faces, uh, High Five. Vanessa Bell Armstrong, I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. So we have worked with Babyface, something I never dreamed of doing or never imagined to do because I feel like he's one of the greatest artists, greatest writers, producers in the business. And to have written and produced him is such a big honor. I think to the, to the day I die, it's going to be a lot of things that's happening to me in my life that I'm just going to be completely surprised and just amazed at.
you know what? It, it starts from here and it just steadily builds. I think I like that process of becoming successful more than just out the box going to the top. I mean, building your career is so much more pleasant. And I don't deal with the neg negative things in life. I don't like negative things at all. What I do is real and strong. We'll be here forever. Um, I think that's what I want to be remembered by. Hello, Monday morning. It's good to see your face. It's time to wake the baby. For school, they can't be late. I got time to fix them breakfast. The little one likes bacon daddies. My life is blessed, I'm happy. For each and every day. That's why we've got money in the bank. Gas in the tank. The big collectors never ring my phone.